Welcome to DEV 0114. I'm your instructor for this course, Professor Nancy Zeminski. Here's my email address and phone number. This course begins with basic math, whole numbers, fractions, and decimals. And then we move into pre-algebra, where you will learn about integers, expressions, and equations. You have enrolled in a web course that meets at 10 o'clock Tuesday mornings. A link is provided for you in Blackboard. During these class sessions, I'll be working out the skill practice problems that are your assigned homework. So when you attend the class, you'll have your weekly skill practice work completed with the correct answers. I will hold online office hours on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Please email me in advance so that I know to expect you. If you're not available on Tuesdays to attend class, please let me know so that we can discuss an alternate plan. We will be using an online program called Alex360 to do much of the coursework. Your electronic textbook can be found within the Alex360 program. Registration information can be found in Blackboard under the Course Information button. The TI-30XS MultiView is the recommended calculator for this course. Once you log on to the Columbus State website at cscc.edu, you can log in to Blackboard and locate our course. In Blackboard, you will land on the Announcements page. Announcements will also be emailed to you, so check your Columbus State email daily. You should click on each Blackboard button to see what's there. Here is a picture of the course information page where you will find your instructor's contact information, the course calendar of assignments, Alex360 registration instructions, the student contract, attendance policies, grading policy, and the course syllabus. Our grading policy is under the course information button. 40% of your grade is from homework and 60% is from tests. All tests this semester will be taken in Alex360. Click the My Grades button in Blackboard to see your grades. Under Course Information, you'll find this assignment calendar. Notice you have two weekly assignments due on Sunday evenings at 11.59 p.m. First, you'll complete the Alex homework on the Alex360 website and you'll also complete skilled practice problems by submitting photos of your handwritten work through Blackboard. Notice that there are four midterms and a final exam this semester. Pay attention to the deadline dates. You'll be required to take practice midterms and midterms in Alex on or before the date identified in the calendar. Record these in your personal calendar or cell phone. You'll not be allowed to take midterms after the deadline unless you uh, have a documented emergency. Click Week by Week Coursework to find folders with weekly instructions and course materials. Here is what you will find when you click the Week 1 folder. Most weeks are set up this way. You will find instructions detailing the work you need to do for the week. Watch videos, attend online classes, do Alex homework, and do skill practice work. You'll find links to the video lectures. Try to watch these lectures before you attend your online class. You'll find guided notes that end with skill practice problems. You'll find a place to submit your skill practice work. Skill practice problems are located at the end of each section of guided notes. As you write out the skill practice problems on paper, please show all of your work. Number the problems just as they are in the notes. You'll find that there's some missing numbers. Submit your work by scanning or taking pictures and uploading it to Blackboard. You can use Adobe Scan or a similar app if you wish to merge them into a single PDF. Please do not type your answers into Blackboard. You'll be completing nine Alex homework assignments this summer and they will take several hours to do each week. 
This is the Alex homepage. You will see your weekly homework progress in the lower left. In the upper right, you'll see how many topics you've learned and how many topics remain in the course. We request that you do not use a supplemental calculator in Unit 1, which will be the first two homework assignments, as we would like you to learn how to do operations with whole numbers and integers without relying on a calculator. Beginning with Homework 3, you're welcome to use a calculator for all work. If you click on the three horizontal bars, you'll find the Menu button. Under the Learn button, this will take you to your homework assignments. Under the Review button, you'll find all previously learned topics. Under the Assignments heading is where you will uh, take midterms and your final exam, as well as practice tests. Under the Gradebook heading, you'll find your Alex homework grades. Under Reports, uh, this is where you can monitor your progress. The time and topic shows how much time you spent working on each individual topic. Every keystroke in Alex is recorded, so your instructor will see your correct answers as well as your incorrect answers and the amount of time you spent on each topic. Under the textbook heading, you can uh, view the electronic textbook and there's also video lectures. Financial aid recipients, pay attention. You may be administratively dropped for any one of the following reasons. Not taking a midterm on or before its assigned due date, homework average dropping below 82%, or failing to consistently watch video lectures and submit skill practice problems. It's the student's responsibility to provide documentation to their instructor to excuse medical, military, or court-related absences. If you need information on disability services, that information is in this slide. If you are registered with disability services, please provide your accommodation form to your instructor. If you log in to the Columbus State website and click on Resources for Students, you'll find links for free online tutoring. There's also links here for other resources you might want to access. After reading the Student Contract, which is located under the Student Information button in Blackboard, go to the Week 1 folder and click on Student Contract Understanding. If you have any questions at all, be sure to email your instructor through Blackboard. I hope you have a great semester.